Okay, no problem. Bye, right, good day, everyone. Okay, so we are here today again. So what we are going to do today is how to score songs with air. So how to score songs with air. So what you need to understand is, firstly, you need to understand your degrees. We are going to do it on the key of F. is simply the distance between two notes the distance between two notes so the distance between F and D and G sorry is second so F to G just one two this is second and then one two three third it is the distance between F and A third then one two three four from uh, F to B flat that is a fourth then one, two, three, four, five is a fifth. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a sixth. Then seventh. Then octave. Or one again. Good. Alright, so you need to listen very well. Okay? One, two. When you hear this, how do you know this is this is what you are you are hearing? Like F and A. That is the first and the third together. Okay, just listen very well. Know your roots. That is the first step. Know your roots. That is the first degree. Always know your roots. Okay? So from the roots to the third, you take it. You can hum it. Then play the two together. So it's correct. So one of the first things you know is one. Uh, the bass, that's the root. The bass. Know the bass. The bass line. So listen to the bass line. Okay, what is it playing? Okay, is it playing the fourth? Is it playing the third? The second? The fifth? The sixth? The seventh? Also, anyone? Just listen to the, the, to the root, which is the bass line. And the second thing is listen to the loudest instrument there. The loudest instrument. Listen to it very well. Okay, maybe the loudest instrument is playing, let me say, Okay. Let's play the third also, which is A. And then the third thing is listen to the melody, the melody of the song, the melody. Okay, no, so now we know the roots, and then the loudest instrument is playing the third, which is A. That is me. So we have do, and then we have me. Okay, so the melody, maybe the melody is playing uh, so, which is the fifth. So here we have a, we have a triad already here. We have F major triad already. So you put these three together and you are good to go. So first, listen to the bass line. That's the root. Then second, listen to the loudest instrument there. And then the melody, that's the third. The melody line of the song. Okay? What if you hear something like uh, a four note chord? Let's say a major seventh chord. Okay. This F major seventh. F, A, C, and E. Okay, what if you hear this? How do you recognize it? You recognize this with your ear? Listen to the root again. That is the first thing to the root, which is F, the first degree. Then the loudest instrument, maybe, okay, maybe that is, maybe the ox is playing the seventh. Okay, now, so now we have the root, we have the seventh. Okay, listen to the melody. Okay, maybe the melody is playing the fifth or uh, the third. So the last thing is we are left with uh, we are left with the fifth, which is C. So you just listen very well. There is no how. 
there is no how you will still hear something different something different you need to pay attention serious attention when scoring songs don't just rush just listen very well you still hear something sounding like then you are good to go put it together the three oh, sorry the four together f a c and e put the four together then you are good to go so as simple as this the root the loudest instrument the melody and listen to all that sounds there yeah. listen very well and one thing is you grow into this you don't say it doesn't start one day you grow into it the more you play it the more you know how to play it so the more you do it the more you know how to do it so just listen very well don't rush when scoring sounds pay attention serious attention okay so another thing is make sure you practice your triads very well then when practicing listen very well listen don't just practice alone listen to what you are practicing to what you are playing listen so here now i know this is a triad chord this is a triad i know if someone should, someone should just play this for me now i know this triad i know without looking at it i know because why i've been i've been listening and i've been playing so what you need to do is listen to the to the chords you are playing I know this is a triad on the second, I know. I know this on the sixth, this on the fifth, this on the third, this on the seventh. I know. Because you hear something like, and then you hear this. You know, this is not complete. This is leading somewhere. That's why it's called the leading note, the seventh. When you practice, listen to your chords, the triads, okay? Now, that's the middle note here. That's the low note here. This is a triad already. Then, the second. Right, so of course like i said you grew into this of course there are chords i see i still hear and ah i will be like no 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 i need to hear this very well so you pay serious attention to it all right so but start with the triads first start with the triads and when scoring songs start with uh, the likes of domain uh rock and only uh nigeria now not an snatch uh and what have you again Okay, or knows, yes. Don't jump to by myself. No, don't jump to by myself. <laughs> you have serious issues with that. And then Nigeria, don't just jump to Tim Godfrey. You have serious issues with that also. So start with uh, Natanebasi, Ono, Sinaj, Domwen, Kenoli, and okay. Maybe sometimes Todulani also, sometimes. And Philip Thompson, sometimes. Okay, but Marvin Saab. Okay, maybe the Danny McClock is also sharp. You can try that. Uh, and who is again? Who is again? Who is again? Okay, so let's stop here. Let's stop here. Let's stop here. So let me repeat everything again. Listen to the room, which is the bass line. Listen to the loudest instrument today. I'm just touching this. Maybe. And then listen to the melody. And then if you have something like a four note chord, Maybe a major seventh, minor seventh, or maybe a diminish, anything. Just listen very well. You know the roots. And then the highest, the highest voice here, the highest voice, which is this. This is the highest. So this is my melody here. So your melody is on top. And then the lowest, this is the lowest voice here. So the middle. We are left with uh, A flat and B. So once you get this, getting this will not be difficult for you. So this is simple. So this is a diminished chord here. Okay. So if you have okay, you hear something like a dominant chord. Yes, a dominant chord now. 
know, this is not complete also. This is really somewhere. Why? Because of this thought here. You have A, you have C, and then you have E flat. This is leading somewhere. So when you had the roots, 